How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. Are you interested in accessing the equity in your home without actually selling it? And you do not have to pay interest on that amount that you actually get. This product is provided by a company called Unison based in San Francisco. And this video is not sponsored by them. I just got a flyer in the mail from them and I decided to do a review. Let me read what this flyer says. Congratulations, you have been pre-approved for a Unison homeowner program. Do you wish you could access the equity locked in your home? With Unison, you can receive an X amount of dollars and use the funds to pay for any purpose you choose with no monthly payments and no interest charges. The X amount of dollars equates to about 25% of the value of the home over here. And for a limited time, you can also receive a $1,000 Visa gift card. Yes, you read that correctly. It's almost too good to be true. This offer is possible because Unison invests in your home with you. We pay you a percentage of your home's current value. You make no payments to us until you sell. If the value of your home increases from its current value when you sell, Unison will share in a portion of the increase and make a profit. If the value decreases, we incur a loss. It's that simple. It's quick and easy. Apply and close by no later than March 29, 2019. And Unison can provide the funds you need and a $1,000 Visa gift card. Sincerely, Carrie McCormick, Customer Success Manager at Unison. On the right over here, it says no interest charges. So the check that they write you, there's no interest. It says, unlike a home equity loan or home equity line of credit, you pay no interest with Unison. No monthly payments. Use the money now for up to 30 years and pay nothing until you sell. No added debt, really. By partnering with Unison, you do not take on any additional debt. Now, I pre-read this whole thing, including the fine print on the back, and I noticed some things that are missing, some important information that are missing from the main letter right in the front over here, which is a little bit alarming. When I read this and I'm doing this for a reason because I feel like a lot of people that would get this mail, some percentage of people might go, hey, this is a great deal, let me jump on it because I personally looked at this. I'm like, you know, I thought it was a great deal until I read deeper into it in all the fine print and kind of read in between the lines because it does not specifically state every single condition there is. For example, it says you get $1,000 Visa gift card. This is not a lie or anything. Okay, they, you, you're gonna get something like that. Now, when you flip over to the back, you can see there's a transaction fee of 3.9% right off the top. So this is money that you're actually paying the company just for using this, just as a transaction fee. Now this 4% is not unlike a credit card transaction fee. Whenever you take money out of a credit card in cash, they also do a similar percentage rate like this. Now the good thing about this is that when you take this money out, yeah, you pay this 4%, but then you do not have to pay this annual percentage rate. There's 0%, you do not make monthly payments and things like that. So to me, this whole process does sound like, okay, this company is giving you a big chunk of money and they are joint ownership of your home. However, they're not on the deed or anything. They just kind of uh, have rights to, uh, when you actually do sell the home, uh, they get a certain portion of it. Now here comes a little insert inside that flyer where it gives an indication of how many percent they take on the appreciation of your home. Using $50,000 as an investment example, uh, the home value, the current home value, let's say is $500,000. So they give you $50,000 check until the earliest of A, a home ownership change, the death of the last remaining signatory or 30 years. So let's say many, many years past, the home value actually did not change. You sell the home for $500,000, assuming you own it fully. You have to take $50,000 out of that and pay them back. So in another words, you still pay 4% out of that $50,000 to this company. Now the dangerous part comes in when the home actually appreciates. Now, based on history, based on the fact that there is a set inflation rate, the United States tries to set it at 2%. That means things are eventually sort of going to step up a little bit. Will the home value actually keep on increasing? Historically, it has been, but there's a slight chance that it might go down in the short term. Assuming your home goes up in value by $100,000, like this little flyer says. Over here it says, when you sell your home for $600,000, $510,000 goes to you, 
and $90,000 goes to Unison. Now let's take a look at this. Unison gave you $50,000 initially, but you have to pay them $90,000. This is $40,000 over than what they gave you. Out of the appreciation of $100,000, Unison took home about 40% of the gains. 60% of the gains goes to you. Now let's start at this from the very beginning. $500,000 for the initial price of the home. Unison gave you $50,000. In other words, they have 10% equity of the home. However, when it appreciates by $100,000, they take 40% of this. In other words, they increase their leverage by 400% in terms of their investing power. They only share in 10% of the equity. However, they can take about 40% of the profits if the home value increases. Now let's take a look at the other side of the corn here in case the home value depreciates instead. If it decreases by $100,000, they take 40% of this loss. Now you might think this is kind of fair based on this little insert thing, because if the home price increased by $100,000, they take $40,000 of it. But if the home price decreases by $100,000, um, they take a loss of $40,000. Now what happens if let's say the price movement goes by $200,000, which is not illustrated here. They still take uh, $80,000, but the most they can lose is $50,000 because that is the amount they put in. This is where the unfairness begins because they take most of the upside. However, they have a limited downside over here. This is sort of like buying a call option, except this is sort of like a very far away call, call option of 30 years or something. As an investor, this is a very good thing because the most you can lose is a certain amount. However, the upside is many folds of what you actually put in. If you put in $50,000 and let's say the home doubles, for putting $50,000 in, you can actually make $200,000. Now, this is not the same thing as investing in it because this flyer is actually targeted for the homeowner. You are actually trading your own future equity in the home uh, for current cash. Now, as a homeowner, you kind of think, well, maybe home prices are very, very high right now. Maybe I can just take some cash from this unison thing. And then maybe if the home prices uh, depreciate, then I can end the agreement and then take a gain out of that. On the back of this thing, it says, can I buy unison out without selling my home? The, the answer here is yes, you can buy them out. However, at the very end over here, it says, note that the special termination price can never be less than the amount we invested in your home. In other words, if you terminate early, Okay, before a home ownership change, before this 30 years thing, before the death of the last remaining signatory, which means the only way that Unison is gonna lose out on this thing is if one of those things happen and the home actually depreciates during one of those, one of those conditions, which I believe it's highly unlikely. So to me, this product is aimed at people who needs money right now. People who are hurting for money, who needs to access the home equity to pay for certain things. When you do this, you're actually giving up the future value increase of your home, which for a lot of people is actually a very, very valuable asset. The future value of your home increase can represent a very high increase in wealth. If you're giving this up, you're giving up much more than you think you are. The fact that they give you $50,000 for a $500,000 home value should have mean that they have a 10% stake in your home. But when it goes to an increase in appreciation of your home, they take 40% of the stake in the increase. They also accept a 40% decrease in the stake. However, they limit their losses to the amount that they invested in your home. So this is actually not an equal share of home ownership over here. But there probably is a reason why they are able to do this because they're offering up a chunk of money right now that you can actually use. Money right now actually tempts people because sometimes people have a dire need for it. Maybe there are medical expenses or something. Maybe there is some very important reason that you would need this money absolutely right now. After reading into this, I thought, well, that sounds really good. Let me, let me look at the fine print first to see what it really says. So suffice to say, uh, this product is definitely not for me. I definitely will not be getting something like this. I do not think it's a good deal. I also think it's going to be very hard for someone to win out on this, even if you know exactly what this product is. Suffice to say that I do not think this is a very good deal for myself, so I will not be getting it. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to give me a like and push that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.